The hot dip galvanizing process requires the use of overhead cranes and hoists to immerse and withdraw steel from pretreatment and molten zinc baths. Parts are lifted at an angle using wires, chains, or other lifting devices to promote full drainage and coating of the parts. Handling steel in this manner can result in a few imperfections on the galvanized coating finish. Most of these surface conditions are visual imperfections and do not affect hot dip galvanizing's corrosion resistance. However, any marks or inclusions that diminish the coating longevity are cause for rejection in the ASTM specifications. Chains, wire, and other lifting devices are used to move steel through the galvanizing process. While immersed in the kettle, steel is moved, rocked, or vibrated to allow molten zinc to access all surfaces, including beneath the chain wire. Upon withdrawal from the galvanizing bath, chains or wires contact the newly formed coating and or suspended parts may come into contact with one another. Either activity may leave a mark or indention. These marks are usually superficial and are acceptable if there is no bare spot in the galvanized coating. Steel is withdrawn at an angle to allow excess molten zinc to flow back into the galvanizing bath. Where any molten zinc is unable to fully drain away from the part, it eventually cools and hardens on the surface. This can lead to zinc buildup, such as runs, drips, or spikes. The galvanizer is responsible for minimizing zinc buildup and to file down any sharp drips or spikes that affect the material's intended use or safety. However, properly cropping corners and optimizing vent drain hole placement will minimize the potential for trapped zinc. The galvanizing process can also create the appearance of overlap or oxide lines. Oxide lines are light film marks on the coating created when steel is not removed from the galvanizing kettle at a consistent rate. Optimized venting and drainage design improve the ability to withdraw steel at a consistent rate. Oxide lines tend to fade over time as the galvanized coating weathers and have no effect on the corrosion protection. Overlap lines are created when a large product that cannot be fully immersed in the kettle is progressively dipped. The oversized piece is galvanized on one side, then rehung and coated on the remaining side. The intersection of these two dips will leave a visible line where the coating tends to be thicker, rougher, and darker in appearance. The overlap line will fade as the galvanized coating weathers, but will remain thicker and rougher unless smoothed down upon request. There are two types of deposits the galvanizing bath can embed in the coating. Oxidized zinc, known as skimmings, form on the top of the bath and are cleared away as steel is immersed and withdrawn from the kettle. It is possible for skimmings to deposit on the zinc coating but they are easily removed. Skimmings are not cause for rejection because the zinc coating is intact below the inclusion. Dross, zinc iron alloy particles, is a natural byproduct of the galvanizing process that may be suspended in the galvanizing bath. Dross particles can be carried out with steel and become embedded in the galvanized coating. If the dross particles are small, not dangerous to handle, and fully covered by zinc, they are acceptable. However, large or gross dross inclusions reveal a bare area beneath and must be remedied. Moving steel through the galvanizing process effectively can lead to a few appearance imperfections. These conditions are mostly aesthetic and therefore acceptable. However, any imperfection that affects galvanizing's corrosion resistance are not allowed without remediation. Additional factors that can impact hot dip galvanized steel's appearance are examined in the subsequent videos of this series.